Are you guys okay? Yeah. You know, I kind of understand why Slim is saying life is hard. I mean, he slipped the dick. He said, dick, life should be hard. And I said, even his initials are scary. STD. You know? Yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, it goes like that. That's yeah, like what it is, you know? So, I, I, I figured out I've been around Ventu most of my time. And I figured out that... I need to get myself some Damara friends. Yeah. Because like Stick was saying, Damaras are really honest. Like they don't wanna, you know, it's not like they don't want to lie. It's just lying takes a lot of energy, so these guys just prefer to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a Damara guy would beat up his wife and then when they go to court, the magistrate will be asking, so Mr. Karuha, can you please explain to the court why you threw your wife with a chair? <laughs> uh, actually, Joanna, I'm going to tell the truth and nothing about the truth, am I? Uh, I actually threw her with a chair because the table was heavy. <laughs> That's how they are. They are very honest. You can't even make a Tamara guy a parachute salesman. You will scare the shit out of the customers. You understand? You'll be there selling the parachute and you'll be like, the customer will be like, see, what are you selling? Uh, actually, we are selling these parachute things here, balloon things. Uh, so how does it work, Sam? Uh, actually, what you are going to do, am I? To put this thing on your bag, am I? Then you go into a flicking, two, not me, two. And then the flicking go back up there in the left. And then you yum off, not me, two. You yam off and then there's this other thing here that you just pull. The balloon thing come out and you just float it in the air, in the level. And then the customer goes like, but sir, what if it doesn't work? Ah, uh, oh, don't worry, here we are all about quality. If the thing does not work, yes, bring it back, we'll give you another one. <laughs> you know, they're honest. They're honest. You can't even make a Tamara guy a suicide bomber. Like a Tamara guy will be employed by, by, by the Middle East guys to be a suicide bomber. So it will be like, Mr. Karuha, we understand you have very good quality on experience on doing these things. Ah, yeah, I have experience. I have blown up a lot of things. I have blown up people's relationships and I have blown up people's conclusions and everything. So I know how to do this thing. You must just explain it to me. Ah. Okay, you put this face around your body, you go to more, you say Allah who Akbar, then you blow yourself up, you come back, we'll pay you 25,000. I said, mm. <laughs> 25,000, you have to blow myself up. Okay, so I go and I blow myself up and I say Allah who is Nunu Baba, what do you mean that you're telling me? And then you pay me 25,000, eh? am I? Am I not come back here and you people are gone, just pay us And then the guy goes missing for like three months, missing in, missing in action. You understand? Because he already got paid. So then he comes back after three months. This is the reaction. I said, Osama bin Khausen, Kanaba. Actually, what happened, am I? Is I remember the person. My dear body vest was still. <laughs> But how is it that you, you leave your cousin to steal vest? This is very important. So can you tell me where the vest is? Uh, actually, I will not actually be able to locate the current location of the vest. Maybe if we just wait for a violent explosion somewhere in Malaga, I think, then we will be able to locate the vest. But I think, listen here, just give me another vest. This time I sweat and I will blow myself up. But you must guide me at least at the bossy. You understand? And then they give him 15k. This guy goes missing in action again. Comes back three months back. Like, okay, you not, did not blow yourself up, but you, we already give you half of money, but you don't blow yourself up. What is the problem? Uh, Osama Ben Khausen, the thing is the doctor put me off. <laughs> I'm on a sick leave, man, actually, that is what happened. You see, they are very honest, you know? I even dated a Damara chick at one point, biggest mistake ever. Remember, they are honest. So I'm out here trying to impress the chick. So I'm like, Samantha, look here. Even though I don't drive a Range Rover like John, even though I don't have a fat salary, like John. Even though I don't have a big house 
like John. You should know that. I really love you. This girl looks at me and says, mm, Lloyd, if you really love me, am I? You must just introduce me to Yon. I was like, what the fuck? Like, no. Hell no. John died like last week of Corona. And he's never coming back. You understand? Anyway, I, I, I hate to repeat this, but everybody knows that Valentine's is around the corner, right? I think as, as black people, we just need to learn a little bit about white people and the things, the way, the way that people do their things. Because as black people, we're not really that romantic. We are more like too romantic. You understand? Like a white person will call his girl while she's at work just to inform her. No kusha. After work, there's something special. You understand? Like, hey, 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 how you doing, Nagula? You good? Listen, I don't want you to eat anything tonight. I'm taking you out to a seafood restaurant because I'm romantic like that. You understand? Me bro, Tomasa. Thomas just sent a text. Me bro, Fanda, Egg and Jay, Evelyn Street. She gave me the story. You understand? And I like it how white people come with flowers. They come knock at the door. They face the Zali. They bring two bunches of flowers. One for the girl, one for the Zali. And then they even compliment the Zali like, Oh my God, I now know when Nangula got her beauty from. <laughs> my God, you're very beautiful. And the Zali like, Hey, did Nangula? You're going to get a lot of money. And then you look at me and say, Hey, you're going to get a lot of money. You're going to get a lot of money. Not Jigsa, Thomas. Thomas would just come there, you just yell like, Beep, beep, Pewa! She was like, I'm going to fear, but she said, Fuck, 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 And if you see the little boy running around, he's like, 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 the only time a black person opens the door is because the door is broken. Because <laughs> black people always got these cars that have issues with their doors. You understand? Either the door only opens from inside, or only opens from outside, or there's a certain level that you have to, you know, not too hard, not too soft. And if you are there circling with the doors, like, oh, my chaputa de mango, screw the rango, you depend on you understand? That's how they are. We're not romantic. We don't have time for that shit. You understand? And then the conversation between you know, when you're a white person driving the conversation, it's always soft. Like, so how's your day at work? Fine, right? Is your boss still bothering you? I told you that bitch was crazy. She's crazy. Ask Tomasa. Me bro, you point in this shop, bro. We are you. Here, why you from San Gobi? You need to go to Rome, bro. To Kalabonena. And in the car, the guy is just driving. Joale anare. So piso, you don't miss him. You take this little trip to the highest one. I mean, you pay this so that they check. You pay this a little bit more. Yeah, no girl no drive. And you stand by me, Joy. You stand by me, Alex. Let me. You miss him, Alex. You get that story. You understand? We're not romantic. You know, that's why in, in, in most movies, white people are always the first to die. You know, white people are too over fucking concerned. They're just too concerned. You understand? White people, they are too concerned. Like in movies, when a black person sees something very suspicious, it's not like, uh, fuck this shit. I am not out of here. Fuck. White people are naive. You understand? Like they hear weird sounds in the cave. Right? And this is their reaction. Hello? Is anybody there? Like, what the fuck? Is anybody there? What the fuck? It's dark. You can't see. It's dangerous. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? You say white people are Black people are On the safari, they say we can't see it. Even when we go for safari, my friend, when we go for safari, and I see a lion coming, I will not scream, lion. No. There must be someone next to me that can at least be eaten, ah, while I'm escaping. You understand? We are very concerned about our safety. You understand? The white people, they are very concerned. Even when it comes to love making, guys. Love making. 
white people, they'll be there eating it. Pa, pa, pa. And then he's still asking, are you fine? And he's like, yeah, I'm okay. Just continue. Me bro, Tomasa. Ah, Tomasa is just destroying the whole thing that my friend is. <laughs> you understand? And then when white people, white people are very, they're very concerned about their very sensitive. Mind you. You see, a white person will be eating it. She's eating Nangula. Pa. Feeling it. Pa. Pa. The white guy's name is maybe Mark. Pa. Pa. And then the girl just fucks around and says the wrong name. Like, oh my god. Tom. White person. Like, oh my god. Did you just call me Tom? Are you still fucking that way? You know what? I don't even want to do this anymore. I, 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 fuck this shit. I, I'm going to sleep in the couch. My rest demands a trade. Tomasa. Tomas will be hitting him. Oh my God, Mateo! Thomas like, who did you call me? Gangatura Mateo. Here I am going to bring the Gangatura. Gangatura, that's a good matter now. This is how we hit it. Gangatura Mateo Chimenao. I'm telling you, there's no those things of stopping Kama, what, what, high end. The nigga is on autopilot. Oh, Tosa Kama. My friend, why people are concerned? They're very, and, and they like to save people and then they just end up dying <laughs> for like no reason. Like black people, we don't have, we don't give a fuck about that shit. Thomas will be hitting it. Pa. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, the white guy will be hitting it. His name will be Mark again. He'll be hitting it. Pa. Pa. Then he just hears a glass breaking. Hold up, baby, something is not right. <laughs> what do you mean? I hear a very suspicious noise outside. So what I want you to do is I want you to lock yourself in the fucking room, right? Like, no, don't fucking follow me. Stay here. <laughs> fucking stay there. And if I don't come back, just know that it's always been you, baby. <laughs> I'll be back. I love you. Tomasa, you'll be hitting it. Pa. Window breaking, gunshots, bottles breaking, people screaming. Tomas just hitting it. Then you just hear this irritating fucking question. What <laughs> about Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Blake the Comedian and that's what I have for you today, everyone.